going? We're going to SeaWorld. 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 Sea That's right, we were going to SeaWorld, and this is the first time that all four of my kids have gone to SeaWorld. The last time my little guy was actually not born yet. One thing to take note that tickets are not cheap, but if you go to SeaWorld.com, it's going to be higher. However, when I went to MemberDeal.com via uh, T-Mobile app or AAA, it was much cheaper. It's about 180 bucks less by me doing that. We took our trip after Easter, and this is a Wednesday, and you can see how busy it is in the morning. They just open at 10 o'clock, and this is about 10:20, going through the line. Another expense is parking. This was sticker shock for me, but you gotta do what you gotta do, right? As I mentioned before, my little one, he wasn't born yet. We actually went when we had the three kids and my wife was pregnant with this little guy, Jeremiah. And the first thing we're gonna do is actually start focusing on the shows because the shows are only a certain time. So of course we had the family picture, but then we found a couple of these walk-in rides like this or walk-in attractions, I should say. And you know, the kids are starting to get excited. And there's the cool moray eel. Uh, it almost looks fake, but that's a real eel. So I had to take this picture of the kids in the spot. And the reason why is because this was four years ago before my little guy was born. It's amazing. And look at this little turtle here. Uh, it's, this is really nice to see the kids see things that they usually don't see, like turtles, moray eels. And we're going to see other things that they haven't seen or haven't seen for a while. One tip is that you're definitely going to use the SeaWorld app. And the reason why is because you get to see what's the available shows, uh, the times of everything, and also it actually helps geolocate where you're at. So here's the map of the park, and it'll actually show where you're at. I'm not online right now, so it doesn't show anything, but you actually see where you're at in a live motion when you're moving via your phone app. It's truly a must-have app. You can order food. You can see what kind of food's on the menu, get an idea of things. Um, there you go. And also, you can see the rides, what the rides are as well. My kids didn't really like the rides. They're kind of scared of roller coasters, so we basically didn't use that. But again, the app is a must have. So speaking of shows, the first show that we had available was the Sea Lion attraction. So it was pretty cool to watch. going to the next show which is the dolphin show and I gotta tell you the dolphin show is really really cool to watch We got the flamingos. I don't know why SeaWorld has flamingos, but there's flamingos here. One of the last biggest shows is the Orcas Killer Whales. You gotta go see this. They only had it, I think the showing was only three times in a day. So that's why it's really important to focus on getting these shows out the way before you start doing the other attractions. That's just my opinion, but I think you might agree. And look at this best shot. Snow motion in this aquarium type of uh, arena or environment you know my son got to see these orcas pretty up close and here's another great shot i took of the two kids one thing is food oh my god food this is 93 bucks just to let you know so food can be costly so um you there's some other vip menu options but take a look at that going from there these rays you can actually touch if they get close to you and this one's just splattering everybody so near the penguin expedition or exhibition i should say there's actually a cool spot that i'll show you in a little bit but um it's really cool to see these little guys swimming around you can see it from above and below really interesting my wife thought that these penguins here these fatty guys were actually fake i'm like no these are real you could see them moving like that because they're really large in real life when you see them. And this is what I was talking about, the shark tank. It's pretty cool because you're actually immersed in here. See, this is me 
taken a picture of what's above me, which is below on another part of the shark, shark exhibit. So you're basically in a tank, you know, within the, underneath the tank. You can see the conveyor belt that's going through there with the kids checking it out. It's really cool that you can see them kind of swimming around at different angles, just like this. This was actually in front of the park entrance, but we went to the last. It's a little interaction for the kids. These are cleaner fish, and they basically nibble at your hands, uh, trying to clean off particles of your hands. It's actually a really weird feeling, but I think it's really great to, to uh, have the kids interact with that. Make sure you wash your hands after that. You don't want some weird stuff going on. So as I mentioned earlier, my kids don't like roller coasters, and they don't like those little exciting rides, like the wet rides. So if you're going to go on the wet rides, make sure you bring some clothes. There are some lockers that you can use. So we came in about 10.30 and it's about 6 o'clock now and we're heading home and they've got only two more hours. So it was a pretty good time. So a good question would be, is it worth going to SeaWorld? And the answer is yes, because these are the pictures that I took there. And these memories last a lifetime. It was really great to see the kids so excited to see these things. And that makes my day as a dad and as a parent. So. If you're looking for some fun, SeaWorld's definitely worth it. So let me know what you think of SeaWorld. Thanks for watching.